I have a crab apple tree and this is as good as it's going to look. What happens is in a couple weeks, all the leaves are going to turn brown and they're all going to fall off and it's going to look like it's dead when all the other trees in the neighborhood look green and healthy. Anytime I hear of leaf drop associated with a crab apple, I think of apple scab disease. Apple scab, what's that? It's a fungus that gets into the leaves, causes them to turn brown and drop. Now, have you done anything for the health of this tree? I've done nothing to this tree. I wouldn't know where to start. Well, crab apples are vigorous growers and they do need pruning and that's what this one needs to help it out. So just a little bit of pruning is gonna help us oh, out? Oh no, we're gonna do a lot of serious pruning and a couple other things to keep this tree healthier. Okay. Let's start with this branch here. Now I have a general rule of thumb. Any branch I'm gonna hit my head on when I'm mowing the lawn gets cut off the tree. How's that? <laughs> okay, makes sense. And it also extends out all the way over the sidewalk. So there's another reason to take that off. And this is off that same branch and it has the same problem. It's low and out over the sidewalk. So we're gonna cut these two off, but we're gonna come back in here to the main trunk and make a cut. We're okay. gonna use a three-step method in the first step, I want you to take and cut right here, a third away through the stem. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah, you can rip it pretty good with two hands. All right, that undercut looks good. You're about a third of the way through. Now you're gonna make the top cut, and that's gonna be just this side of your undercut and it's gonna let the branch just fall. Okay. Good. There you go. That's a heavy branch, and see how this undercut made it break off nice and clean. Ew. Now you're gonna go for your final cut. Okay. What we wanna do is see this raised section along the bottom of the stem right okay. here? That's called the branch collar. We want to leave that and make a cut just outside it for the tree to heal properly. Okay. So you're going to make a cut right about there for me. Okay. okay? You bet. Perfect. That tree will heal really well. Great. Here's another branch I want to get rid of. If you look, this branch comes over, crosses over this lower branch. And if you look closely, you'll see that it's actually rubbing together. Oh, see wow. that right there? I do see that. So there's an injury there, and I want to keep it from doing too much damage to this big lower stem, so I'm going to cut this top one off. Okay. And I'm just going to make a rip cut right here. Okay. You want to drag that out of the way and I'll go over here and make the final cut. You want to grab that for me? You bet. There you go. Good. Perfect. This branch has got to go too. It's low and it's hanging over the sidewalk. It is. The problem is I can't reach up there to make a proper cut with my handsaw. Okay. So what I'm going to use, this is a six foot pole saw with the same blade as the handsaw mounted on the end. Okay. And that'll allow us to reach up and make our three cut method. That was good. That was perfect. One more cut. Now, with all these main branches out, it's time to go after some little ones. Okay. You look right here. These little branches are called water spouts or suckers. Okay. They're never gonna be a main branch of the tree. They don't produce a lot of flowers. And if we take them out, along with the big branches we already cut out, we're going to get really good air circulation in there, and that'll help fight the apple scab disease. Okay, so the tree becomes healthy. Right. Okay. So I'm going to use this pole pruner to do the top. You do the little ones with a hand pruner. Okay, perfect.
Now you've got grass growing underneath your tree and I don't like that for two reasons. Number one, the grass competes with a tree for nutrients and water. And number two, when you're cutting, sooner or later, you're gonna hit that trunk with a mower or the string trimmer. And I have. And that's not good for the tree. Now, in normal cases, I would love to strip the grass all out from underneath the drip line of this tree and just have mulch. But then you wouldn't have any front yard, you'd just have mulch. You'd have all mulch. So what we're gonna do is make about a four foot diameter circle around this tree. I tied the string off. I'm just gonna take this square shovel and go through. And all I'm trying to do is cut the grass. I don't wanna cut the roots that are there. So I'm okay. just gonna edge it and we're gonna peel the grass out. Doesn't feel too bad for roots, Mark. Yeah, it looks like it's loose out under there. What I want to do is try to pull this off with our hands. Okay. I'm really worried about taking and injuring the root, so I want to just peel this back if we can. It seems to be coming up okay. A little bit tough in spots, but I don't feel any tree roots. I'm not finding any tree roots at all, so I'm going to take and speed this up a little bit. You want to come behind me and as I go around, you can peel it up and throw it in the wheelbarrow? I can do that. All right, just put this on about two inches thick and don't get it so it's up against the trunk of the tree, okay? Okay. Start with that. If you need more, I'll give it to you. That looks good, Mark. It does look good. Let me show you one more thing I found out with your tree. Okay. Look inside here. See this big cavity where oh, all wow. these branches are coming together? Okay. Every time it rains, the water just sits in there. Wow. With no place to go. It just sits there. So sooner or later, it's going to cause that to rot. It's going to rot out the inside. Right. So what do we do? I think I got a solution for that. Okay. There we go. Now when it rains, instead of puddling in there and rotting the tree, it's going to run right out that hole. And it's not going to hurt the tree at all. No, this is just a little half inch bit. In fact, the tree will try to grow over that hole. So once a year, you're going to take this bit, come out here and do some preventive maintenance. I can do that. Now, the other thing is when the leaves start to fall off this tree, whether it's next week or in the fall, gather them up because they're full of the apple scab spore and just get this out of here away from the tree. I'll do that when they come down. Great advice. Thank you.